Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and in this video I'm going to talk to you about a really cool way of making your pins go viral. So when I say viral, I mean popular. To appear in this little popular section here, which as a result may lead to them getting more likes and more comments and driving even more traffic to your website. So to get your pins into the popular section, Pinterest looks at a couple of different qualities. So A, how many repins your pin has received, how many likes, how many comments, and how many shares. Now, the first four of these, essentially all of these, we can automate through Pin Pioneer. How do we do this? First, go to Pin Pioneer and go to Pins and go to Popular. Oh, sorry, type in the popular tag, like so. This will bring you all the current popular pins. This is only one of the many ways of doing it. So, this will bring you a list of all the current popular pins. In this case, let's go to the first one, open the URL. Excellent, so it's a picture of this guy. Jesse McCartney, fair play, I guess he's a popular guy. Okay, and if you scroll down, you can see he's got a bunch of repins, a bunch of likes, a bunch of comments, whatever, okay? So what we can do, we take this popular URL, this popular pin, Control-C, copy the URL, open a text file, okay, um, paste it in here, multiple times, say twice for this example, depending on how many accounts you're using. Next, go to Pin Pioneer, have your account selected already, import URLs and titles, test, so this is the um, pins, select these two. Go to rotate accounts, right now I've got two accounts here, but if you can have as many as 50 or 100 or 1000, there's no limit. Hit rotate accounts, actions per account has to be one, okay, and put a board name, so in this case it's called the board test, and here you can put your source URL if you want. In this example, I'm just going to use, you know, uh, ericvazizian.com. Okay, and write a comment. Remember, you must have a description. If you don't have a picture description and or comment text here, uh, Pinterest will not let you send it. So, this is a test repin. Okay, so the purpose of this now is to get these two accounts to repin this one image. If we had 50 accounts, we could put, you know, 50 URLs here, the exact same image. And they would each individually go ahead and repin these images. Again, boosting its popularity rating. Okay, that's only one of the cool things. So hit star pin, and in this case, let's put this to zero. In this case, we hit star pin, and you'll see that the first account will log in. It will create the new board. If there's no existing board, it will create a new board. And then it will pin the first pin, like so. Likewise, next account is going to log in, rotate, see if the other board already exists. If it doesn't, it's going to create it and pin it, like so. Okay, um, let's go back to Pinterest and just see what we've got here. So first of all, Nick, and we have test and we have this pin right here. That's the guy we pinned and you can see our source URL is right here. And if we go, if we log out of here, and if we go to log into another account actually, like so. If we go to Eric, you can see that in the test section there's also another pin. So in we, we've instantly raised the popularity. This pin has been repinned twice from two different accounts. Likewise, we can then go ahead and comment on these pins in multitude. Um, we can say, you know, we can right click comment if we want. We can say this is an awesome pin. Whatever, you know, um, just as a way of boosting its popularity. We can like it as well. It's going to go ahead and like it now. Sorry, it's going to go ahead and comment it. See, so done the first one, rotating to the next account, done the second one. Excellent. Right now, it's using the first URL. They're exactly the same, so it's only using the first one. Okay, and then we can like it as well. Where this gets cooler is where you watermark your own images. In this case, let's say we download this image. Uh, copy image URL, like so. So, download this photo, save image as, let's go to main, test pin, excellent. We got that pin right there, go back to pin pioneer, hit watermark, load pictures, in this case will be test pin, excellent. Um, type in some watermark test, text, um, this guy is cool, wait no. This pin is popular. There you go. Right? 
Drain it preview. Hey, we have a watermark. We can put this wherever we want. Um, refer back to our other videos for more information about this. Change the color, all that kind of stuff. Whatever. Save watermarked images. It's going to save it back to our desktop or wherever we'd like. Then, oh, whoops. Uh, that's fine. Then all we have to do, likewise, is import pictures, import our pin, same thing, um, and it will go ahead and do the same process. So it's very easy to do. It's very easy to get your pins popular. It's very easy to um, create them, give them more kind of viral reach, essentially, because the more time they get repinned, the more time they get pinned, liked, commented, uh, the more likely it is that Pinterest will pick them up as popular pins. Um, so that's it for today. Um, if you got that little error message that I just received earlier, um, that's because the watermark did not save correctly. Check the format, check that, uh, make sure not to close this window too quick. Hit continue if you get that error message um, and it'll be fine. So that's all for now. Um, please tune in for our next video.